Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video I thought we would look at a, another mod, another mining mod, and this one is called the Auto Miner, which is very similar to the Drill and Fill system, and all the other drilling mods I've shown on this channel. Except this one is much more balanced, it can't do crazy ranges which can send its little box off and start drilling like half a mile away, and it does have a lot more limitations attached onto it. So pressing G because this is a mod, let's find out how much it costs. There it is, it can only be used on a large grid, and it's 50 computers, 20 detector components, 12 large steel tubes, 15 construction components, and 120 steel plates, which is relatively cheap for what it does. So having a quick look at the model, this is what we get. It's very fancy with our little bars going around the side, got some knobbly parts in the middle, and if I was to come all the way up to the top, we then have this yellow part, which does change colour depending on what's happening with the drill. Yellow is standby, green is drilling, and red means there's a problem somewhere. So that is that. And you're just getting a nice little distance away, that is what it looks like. So if I use my character and come over to a terminal, we'll look at some of the options it has to offer. So using this little reactor over here, we'll find the Auto Miner. So the Auto Miner is very different to the other drilling mods I've shown on this channel. It has to be directly connected to a cargo container to function, and it cannot be used on a moving grid. So it has to be a static base grid in order for it to work. So when we spawn this in, we'll get this little option right here called Push Target Inventory, where we can then select our cargo container that it's attached directly onto, select it, and then we get some more options. We can choose to select any types of ore in a certain area, so if you're trying to drill out a multi or patch, you can just go for the one you want and it'll leave everything else intact. If you notice on here, we cannot mine stone, so it will not touch the terrain around you, which is very nice. We can then change the radius and the depth of where it will drill, so if you want to go really far down for that uranium, you can always do that. Then we have a start and a stop button, which will mean it'll start to drill where it will scan the area that you've selected and it will eventually pass through the ore and start mining it up. If it doesn't detect anything, it won't do any drilling, which is very nice. And if we want to stop it, we just press that and it will stop instantly. And then last but not least, we have a button right here that says to show the mining area. So if I was to fly away, there we are. We get a lovely blue square of the area we've selected. So that's our width and if I come to our depth, this is what we get. So that's the maximum depth. That means we can get all the ores if we wanted it. I did select up another one over there, so do ignore the two pillars. I guess it can go quite some distance down. So what I'm going to do now is just fly over to the other one, which was somewhere around here. There it is, which is actually on a ore patch. So if I bring up the HUD, there we are. We're going to drill some silicon. So here we are. I'm going to start this up. I'm going to find the auto miner over here, and we're going to start. Start it. Now there is a little bit of a problem with this which you'll notice if you try and walk away from it is that it lags up quite a lot while it's scanning the area. Now this will be if you do a massive range on it which I'm doing currently so if you have a more reasonable range it's not too bad. But there it is, the auto miner is selecting up all the silicon and is dumping it into the large cargo container. Then if I come over to the control panel and actually find the auto miner we can see its little process over here. We can see its current depth which the scanner is at and we can see it's slowly finding the silicon and then skipping over the stone. So there we are, I'm now going to stop that and we can check the cargo container over here. So we collected 1.14k silicon which is not much, but then again this is quite a balanced drill compared to everything else, it doesn't just suck up everything around you. So now it's time to talk about the limitations of the drill. So over here is a ship that I built which is quite small and it has everything I need to survive in. And I've attached two of the auto miners onto them. One is attached onto a conveyor where a turret should be sitting and that conveyor will eventually loop around to a cargo container inside the ship. And this auto miner has been placed on a cargo container on another conveyor that once again connects to a cargo container somewhere in the ship. So using this access point over here, we can then see them both sitting right here. So auto miner number three is the one that's not connected up to any cargo, so it won't automatically push stuff into a container. Because of that, when it gets full of resources, it will not do anything else. It'll simply switch itself off until you manually remove it. However, being directly connected to a cargo container like auto miner number two, we can select the small cargo container where it will just push all the resources into that. 
and it will just keep going into the cargo container and itself is full up. So because this is a ship, we cannot use our drills whatsoever. It will not let you start and we get this warning message right here. So we can't just fly over and start drilling, doing a little drive-by and all that. We have to be a fixed grid. So I'm just going to come over to here, convert my ship into a station and we're good to go. So finding auto mining number three, we can whack its step all the way up to the top and then we can just start mining. There is an iron ore patch right below me, so it's going to start sucking up all that and shoving it into itself. So finding the miner over here in the resource manager, this is it slowly, very slowly gathering up all that iron. So like I said before, it's not crazy like the drill and fill system. It doesn't just suck up the resources all around you and leave a massive hole. It's quite conservative and a lot more balanced. So there is that. But because it's not attached onto a cargo container, once it gets full, it's not going to do anything. So we can come over to auto miner number two, select the small cargo container, put its depth all the way up. And let's say I only want to drill. Ooh, I only want in fact, what resources are around me currently. There were a few. So there is some nickel around here, apparently. No, it's going to have to be iron ore, unfortunately. So coming back over to here, let's just stop that because it's not going to find anything. And I want to just take some iron, start, and it's going to start drilling. And there we are, it's just going to fill itself up and dump everything into this small cargo container. Which is very, very nice. And one last thing to check before I end this video is, of course, the little lights on top. So if I was to just come over to here and find my free camera, let me just go like that, and we're going to select that and switch it off. Switching off will make it red. If we come back into here and switch it back on, we go to yellow, and of course, starting it up, it becomes green, meaning we are going. Now the performance has sort of settled actually, it's not too bad currently. It just seems like it was a bit of an issue with maybe the large cargo container. I don't know, but it seems to be working quite flawlessly currently. I'm just going to switch that one off. There we are, and we're going to switch that one on. You can just start doing that, start mining it up, and away it goes. There is no visual cue of it pulling up resources from the ground. It simply just switches the light on at the top. And that is it for the auto miner. There's not too much else to talk about. It's got a fantastic little model. If I, if I come around to here, I will just show you, just in case you're interested, the connection point on the bottom. So there we are. Yes, it's a fantastic model. It's a great design. It doesn't really suck up too much resources. So it's going to be one of these. Just set it in the area, then forget about it and go and collect up the resources later on. Perhaps you can make a little mining outpost with a connector attached onto this cargo container. And then you can just drive up a cargo vehicle and load it all up but anyway the auto miner will be in the description below if you wish to download and play with it yourself and i'll be back with another showcase video some point soon bye bye